Alrighty, we just wanted to uh, sit down and give a brief overview of this first batch of 2018s that's coming out in the Op2 February release. Um, a couple of the lines you'll recognize, there's wines like the Op2 that we've made every year since um, Fidelitas has been making wine, and our Red Mountain Cab, uh, which has been a staple for us for a while now since we, since we switched to doing all Red Mountain Fruit. And then we have a couple other uh, brand new releases that we'll talk about as well. So these are the three wines that you're able to choose from for your February, February allocation. Up to Red Mountain is a blend of about 70% Cab, 20 Merlot, a little bit of Petit Verdot and Cabernet Franc. Um, it's a reserve style blend, so we're picking out little bits and pieces of our favorite single vineyard, single varietal lots, <clears throat> and uh, crafting this blend. It's got a lot of new oak, a lot of oak fermentation. Um, it's gonna be a wine that's gonna be able to last in your cellar for a pretty long time. Yeah, I think I would, I still call it our signature wine. You know, it's the wine that we made um, from the very first vintage in 2000, and we called it, um, Meritage then, but you know, switched that soon after and started making it exclusively from Red Mountain in 2012. Um, and just, you know, a really, just an overall really great wine, something I've always, I always enjoy. Um, the other one that you've heard of before is our Red Mountain Cab. So this is a 100% varietal cab. It is coming out of Quintessence Vineyard and our state vineyard. Um, two vineyards, but a, def a bunch of different blocks within those vineyards that we're kind of creating a blend of Cabernet with. Um, overall, it's we want it to taste like Red Mountain Cab. It's bright, fruity, um, still pretty big. It is from Red Mountain. It has nice um, tannin. Um, it is something that can last in your cellar longer, but if we were to choose um, between all of our different Cabernets, this is one that you would want to open sooner than later and kind of craft it in a style that you can pop it open and it's one that's going to taste really good on the tasting bar. Yeah, it truly really is sort of a reflection of the Appalachian and has a sense of place. It's, you know, kind of, we, we talked about this before, but it always sort of has that little bit of, you know, all those things you described to be, as well as sort of this little dusty characteristic that we get from all sort of Red Mountain Cabernets that really is sort of a, I mean, you really see it on Red Mountain and uh, it, it's something that makes the wines from here, you know, kind of stand out, so. So these two, um we made a little bit more of than those Heart of the Hill wines, so chances are if you don't choose these in your allocation, they will be on the tasting bar when you go to pick up your wines um, for a few months at least. The other two, um, the Heart of the Hill cab that you can choose in your allocation, we only made about 240 cases of that. The Heart of the Hill Malbec, we only made about 140 cases of, so those are pretty um, highly limited lots, not many barrels made the cut for those different blends. Um, Heart of the Hill is a brand new wine for us. Um, we've been getting Malbec from that um, Kiona, one of the Kiona vineyards there for about what, six years now? Yeah, something like that. Um, it's That Malbec has made it into our Red Mountain, has been really the base of our Red Mountain Malbec for a while. Um, but in 2018, we were able to get some cab and enough good Malbec, um, and really we were able to kind of refine our winemaking style over time um, to really make killer wines. And when we were putting blends together for the 2018s, we we're just really impressed with these and decided that they were, um, you know, worthy of that single vineyard bottling and even worthy of a brand new uh, label color for us. This, itch, this year, which is a big deal for us with that um, kind of that shiny copper color. Yeah, and you know, Heart of the, Heart of the Hill has been a vineyard that uh, 
the Williams has started and right from its inception, there's been great fruit coming off of it and, uh, you know, highly allocated. Uh, I know that Betts, Betts Winery was the one winery that comes to mind for me that, you know, really, uh, really from its start made uh, Heart of the Hill, you know, Cabernet. And so it's great for us to finally, you know, get a chance to get some of the fruit and then just to see the evolves, you know, the wines evolve into what they are right now is, is great. And uh, as Will mentioned, um, highly limited in the amount that we make. Um, so you can make the cab in your choice for your wine club, but the Malbec is an add-on. But um, I've been out on Red Mountain the last couple weekends and I've poured it. Uh, and everybody that tastes it uh, buys some. So in this unusual situation during the pandemic and you don't really have a chance to try the wine, I don't know how long, if, if at all, we'll have it to really pour in the tasting room. So. Take my word for it. Buy some if you're a big Malbec person. <laughs> you won't regret it. Yeah, and then just trying to kind of destruct, describe the cab um, for those who have had our other single vineyard cab lots. A good way, or a way that I've been trying to describe it to people is it has that elegance and finesse of Seal de Cheval. Um, the aroma of the wine, I think, is the first thing you notice, obviously, but it really stands out in our lineup. It has really bright fruit tones, um, dried herbs, um, very unique compared to a lot of our different, uh, more robust, big tannic Cabernets, but it still does have a lot of um, fruit and power to it, but just a little more elegance than you would see um, than your typical Red Mountain Cab, and we think a wine that's going to be super sellerable for, you know, 10 plus years if you choose so. Yeah, for sure. And uh, Will did a good job of sort of, you know, placing it in the lineup of all the different Cabernets that we make. And uh, it's, it's clone two, which is the same clone that makes up a big chunk of our estate Cabernet as well. So it's something that we, you know, we like a lot. We're used to working with, um, and as Will mentioned earlier, you know, it, it, you know, you have to develop a winemaking technique in a barrel regime with these wines to sort of fit the wine and you know try to make it the best that we can. And that's something we're always pushing, and really felt that we got there, you know, finally in this vintage, and that's why we're releasing a separate wine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and these, the two Heart of the Hill wines are wines that we plan on keep making um, or, you know, have already put those blends together with the 19s, bought more fruit in 20, and then um, really respect the Williams family as great growers, they're great people to work with, and so definitely a relationship and um, bottling that will keep going as far as yeah. we can imagine. Next generation. <laughs> Uh, so if you want to make your selections, we're asking that you do so um, by Friday. Um, that's when we'll take these selections off the website. Just give us a little bit of time to, uh, you know, figure out our inventory for that February batching. Uh, but yeah, these wines should be available in the tasting room um, later half of February. We'll let you know via email or via social media, and uh, we can't wait to share you, share these with you. Cheers. Cheers.